私のファンクラブに入るチャンスをあげる You have slain an enemy What up humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Reboot Camp. Reboot camps are made when there is a request from the higher ups or the team just wants to do so. In this video, we are going to talk about the assassin mage hero, Selena. Selena has a good set of area of effect stun, traps, and shapeshifting skills. Our abyssal witch, Selena, is an assassin mage hero. I consider Selena as a support ganking assassin since her traps grants vision on the map. She has two forms that has different set of skills that could help her on killing swiftly. Not only that, her abyssal arrow could stun you for up to three years. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Selena based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain her skills one by one for further understanding. Selena's passive, Symbiosis, grants Selena's forms and skills additional effects. Selena has two forms, the Elven form, and the Abyssal form. She is a ranged hero while on Elven form, while she becomes a melee hero on her Abyssal form. While in Elven form, each hit of her skills to a target will attach an Abyssal mark to them. These marks can stack up to two times. Now, while in Abyssal form, each hit to enemies with basic attacks or skills will consume one Abyssal Mark from the target. Each consumption of the Abyssal Mark will deal extra magic damage. We will further discuss this passive's additional effects on her other skills as we go on. Selena's first skill on Elven form, Abyssal Trap. Let Selena summon an Abyssal Devil to lurk in a designated spot. The Abyssal Trap can grant you vision of its location. When a target steps on the Abyssal Trap, the Abyssal Devil will sink into the target. While the Abyssal Devil is inside the target, the target's movement speed will be reduced. After a second, the Abyssal Devil will deal magic damage to the target and to other enemies nearby and will also have their movement speed reduced. Selena can summon up to three Abyssal Traps in the battlefield. For each Abyssal Devil, the final extra damage will be decreased by 50%. Selena's first skill on Abyssal form, Soul Eater, lets Selena strengthen her claws. Upon using this skill, Selena's next basic attack will be buffed. Her next basic attack will make her leap towards the target and will deal additional magic damage to the target. The attack will also grant her a shield that can absorb a certain amount of damage. Selena's second skill on Elven form, Abyssal Arrow, lets Selena fire a magic arrow towards a designated direction. The first enemy hero hit by the arrow will receive a certain amount of magic damage and will be stunned from 0.5 up to 3 seconds. The stun duration and damage of the Abyssal Arrow depends on its distance traveled. The Abyssal Arrow absorbs Abyssal Traps along its path. If the Abyssal Arrow with an Abyssal Trap hits a target, the effect of both Abyssal Arrow and Abyssal Trap will be bestowed upon the target. Also, if Selena stunned the target for more than a second, her movement speed will be increased. Selena's second skill on Abyssal form, Garot, lets Selena dash towards a designated direction. Enemies hit along the path will receive certain amount of magic damage. If this skill hits an enemy with an Abyssal mark, it will be consumed and will reset this skill's cooldown, making it usable again. Selena's ultimate skill on Elven form, Primal Darkness. Let Selena transform into her abyssal form. 
Using this skill will transform her into abyssal form and will have her movement speed increased. The transformation also resets the cooldown of her first and second skill on abyssal form, having it ready to be used immediately. While in this form, her basic attacks will deal extra magic damage to the target. Selena's ultimate skill on abyssal form, Blessing of the Moon God, lets Selena enter elven form. Using this skill will transform her into elven form and will have her movement speed increased. The transformation also resets the cooldown of her first and second skill on elven form. Having it ready to be used immediately. There are so many items that you can buy for Selena. You can focus on items that grants magic power, magic penetration, and extra magic damage on your skills. You can focus on the Gora Gora build if you want to be a support ganker with roaming items. You can also focus on Weapon 12 build if you prefer to kill jungle monsters faster. But let's focus on the Kurumi way further. As for starting item, you might want to consider Demon Shoes. This item grants mana regeneration and movement speed. Its unique passive regenerates mana points to your hero upon killing enemy heroes or assists. Eliminating minions also gives mana points to your hero. Buying magic items such as Lightning Truncheon will help you deal more burst damage. This item gives you magic power, mana, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive will deal magic damage to your target and to other enemies when you use a skill. This unique passive has a short cooldown. You might want to consider Glowing Wand. This item grants magic power, health points, and movement speed. Its unique passive burns the target when they are hit by skill damage. The damage of this unique passive is based on a percentage of the target's maximum health points. You can consider buying Holy Crystal. This item grants a huge amount of magic power. Its unique passive increases your magic attack by a percentage. The percentage scales with your level. You also might want to consider Divine Glaive. This item grants magic power. Its unique effect grants a certain percentage of magic penetration on your skills. In addition, its unique passive grants extra magic penetration when your HP is above a certain amount. Lastly, you can consider Blood Wings. This grants you magic power and health points. Its unique passive adds health points for every points of magic power added to your hero. The additional health points can help you survive in team fights. The item build for Selena really depends on the enemy's lineup, so make sure you read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Selena is Flame Shot. Using this spell will knock back enemies hit, reduce their movement speed, and will deal certain amount of magic damage. This will be helpful especially when enemies try approaching you. You may also consider Retribution if you are using the Weapon 12 item build. Using this skill will deal through damage to jungle monsters. When equipped with a jungling item, the damage received from jungle monsters will be lessened. This is really helpful to farm faster and this can even steal the last hit on Turtle and Lord. You can also consider Sprint. This grants you additional movement speed which decays over time. This reduces your time control and make you immune from slowing effects for a short period. This is really helpful to chase enemies or escape death. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Mage Emblem set. Custom Mage Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a magic damager. Set agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Higher movement speed means higher chance to chase enemies or escape death. Setting Observation to max level will provide additional magic penetration on your skills. Higher magic penetration deals more magic damage to enemies. That means your skills will be more explosive. Get Magic Worship to deal more magic damage to the enemies. When dealing damage that is more than a certain percentage of target's max HP, for 3 times in 5 seconds the target will receive a burning effect. This burning effect burns the target for 3 times. This effect has a cooldown of 12 seconds. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage of this skill higher and the cooldown lower. That means, the enemy will be receiving more damage from this skill. Prioritize second skill as its first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade your ultimate skill when available for upgrading. 
Selena's passive skill is what you need to deal extra damage to the enemy. The extra damage will be triggered every time you consume the Abyssal Mark on the enemy. The Abyssal Marks are placed on the target when they are hit by your skills on Elven form. The extra damage is not something you should underestimate. Because this extra damage is what makes Selena extremely powerful in the early game. Take a look on this scenario. We are going to gank an enemy and my level is still low. Take note on how much damage we are going to deal on the target. As you can see, we even killed the target with just our deadly combo. We can call this combo, 3 years of pain. I hope I need not to explain on why we named it that way. Selena's first skill is what you need for burst damage and sightseeing. On Elven form, you have Abyssal Trap as your first skill. You can plant these Abyssal Traps not just to serve as traps but also to grant vision to your team. You should put traps on hotspots like bush, lanes where enemies pass by the most. Or the Lord and Turtle spot. By the way, you can only put a maximum of 3 traps in the battlefield. If you put a 4th trap, the oldest trap will disappear from the battlefield. The traps can also serve as booby traps to either damage the enemies or even kill them while you go laughing from a mile away, because you gotta kill without a sweat. You can also cast this skill in an instant to make it planet into the target's body. Now on her abyssal form, you have Soul Eater as your first skill. This skill will buff Selena's next basic attack with additional magic damage. Not only that, it will also grant her shield which could help you survive team fights further. When dealing basic attacks while buffed with Soul Eater, she will be charging towards the enemy to scratch their back. When jungling, you can also spam traps in the early game by using it in combo with your ultimate skill. Using your ultimate skill will reset its cooldown immediately. So going back to elven form will let your first skill available again. Take note that traps grant abyssal marks to the enemy. So make sure to transform into abyss form to consume the abyssal marks to kill the jungle monster easily. Selena's second skill is what you need to stun your target for a few years. On her elven form, you have Abyssal Arrow as her second skill. Abyssal Arrow will stun and deal damage to the first enemy hit. The stun can last for a maximum of 3 seconds depending on the distance traveled by the arrow. This also absorbs a trap that it touches along its path. Enemies hit by an arrow with an Abyssal Trap will be receiving the effects of the Abyssal Arrow, along with the effects of the Abyssal Trap as well. So it's also better to plant a trap first before launching your arrow. This will ensure that the enemy receiving your arrow will be stunned and be slowed. You have slain an enemy. For the Kurumi way, all we do is just point the arrow blindly by looking at the mini-map. You can see on the mini-map that it shows the direction of your arrow. It may also show the indicator for enemy heroes if they are within your vision. This gives you a higher chance to aim better with your arrow. So never forget to utilize the mini-map when shooting arrows. You will know that your arrow hit when you either received additional movement speed or seeing it yourself by dragging the screen on this spot to view what happened. In the early game, we suggest that you use first and second skill combo to check the enemy's jungle monsters. Most of the time, enemies will get the blue buff after the first minion wave. So it's best to try your luck and steal the buff from them. You also have to check the other jungle side which is also taken by enemies in the early game. On her abyssal form, you have Grodd as her second skill. This lets Selena charge towards a direction. As mentioned earlier, hitting an enemy with an abyssal mark will reset this skill's cooldown. So it's best to use this skill when the target has an abyssal mark so you can use this skill again to either chase further or escape death. Selena's ultimate skill is what you need to change forms and spam your skills. Using this skill will transform you to your other form. Take note that switching between forms will have the cooldown of your skills reset in general. When on elven form, Selena becomes an elf with long ranged basic physical damage attacks. But when transforms into abyss form, she becomes a melee hero which deals damage to the initial target with additional magic damage. Take note that the enemy beside the main target will receive physical damage instead when being hit by cleave. This skill is available on level 1. So you can abuse this skill so you can spam your skills because it resets your skills cooldown. Here we go again with our experiments. We are going to test our skills against other heroes that could either greatly counter Selina or could be an easy peasy lemon squeezy succulent dinner for Selina. 
first. Let's have heroes which have their ultimate skill channeling. Heroes like Gord Farsa and Odette uses their ultimate skill by standing still. As it is channeling, their skills will be cancelled when they move. So for a Selena user, these heroes will be easy to aim at. But if you've watched our previous experiments, Gord is a weird hero. Sometimes his ultimate skill can be cancelled, sometimes it can't. So let's try if Selena can cancel Gord's ultimate skill. As you can see, we were still not able to cancel Gord's ultimate skill. So definitely avoid diving to Gord if he is using his ultimate skill. For heroes like Odette and Farsa, they will be stunned when hit by the Abyssal Arrow. And they are easy targets since they are just standing still. So it's best to pick Selena when you see these kind of heroes on the enemy's lineup. Next up we have Cho. We know that Chao's second skill can make him crowd control immune during the dash. So this just means that be aware that Cho could still dash towards you without the worry of being stunned. You have been slain. Next up, we have one of the greatest counter against Selena, Lolita. Lolita's second skill blocks any projectiles available in the game. Selena's abyssal arrow is a projectile. So definitely, Lolita could protect not just herself but her teammates as well. So if you are against a team with Lolita, better make sure your stun really hit a target before charging in. Next up we have Wan Wan. Wan Wan's second skill removes the crowd control effects on her. So even if your stun hit her, she could just shrug it off like nothing happened. So better be careful when going against Wan Wan. In terms of her combo, we formulated two combos which differs in difficulty. If you have slow hands, then this first combo is for you. First, release an abyssal arrow towards an enemy. It's best if you are quite far from the enemy to make the damage higher and stun duration longer. You can also offer some prayers just in case it makes the hit percentage higher. Then, go near the enemy and plant your abyssal trap on the enemy. This will give the target an abyssal mark and will have the target's movement speed reduced. Then, shapeshift into abyssal form. Then, use your second skill to dash towards the target. Make sure that your second skill will touch the target with a mark. This is to ensure that the cooldown of this skill will be reset, and will be available to be used again to mob out. Then, use your first skill to buff your next basic attack. Then, of course, deal your basic attack. Then, you can use flame shot to deal finishing blow in case you have that spell. Then, when the abyssal devil from the abyssal trap devoured the target, Use your second skill again to consume the abyssal mark so it would be on cooldown again. Then I'm pretty sure the enemy is dead after you execute the complete combo, not unless the target is a tank. For the combo that requires fast hands, you just need to cast abyssal trap first then shoot your abyssal arrow towards the target. This will stun the target and plant the trap along with it. Then just follow the combo we thought you earlier. Shape shift. Second skill. First skill. Basic attack. Flame shot or second skill. Then be thankful for the bountiful kill. You have slain an enemy. <laughs> Additional tip, never get too cocky. Even if you think you are really lucky hitting enemies in the bush or getting lucky with your abyssal arrows. This doesn't mean that you are lucky throughout the match. Even if we dodged Moskov's ultimate skill, we can never escape our inevitable fate of death. Also, never ever buy items out in the open. Especially if there is an enemy Franco. You will never know when his hook will make you a hot hooker for his teammates. You have been slain. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Selena. This video just guides you on how to use Selena, the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our Wakandian brother, Rakuten, for being our lab rat for this boot camp. You can search for him in-game and tell him how much you appreciate him, willing to sacrifice his pride and honor to be a test subject. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe and bell button. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway event post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers.